Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Joseph Pins, Pastor. Father John Broby, Associate Pastor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, the community of the Holy Spirit be with you always. It is great for today to celebrate these great mysteries, these great mysteries that Christ has brought to us. But before we begin, let us take time to recall our sins and our failures. We better prepare ourselves for these mysteries. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you're the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, as you receive Christ Jesus the Lord, walk in him, rooted in him, and built upon him, and established in the faith as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. See to it that no one captivate you with an empty, seductive philosophy according to the tradition of men, according to the elemental powers of the world, and not according to Christ. For in him dwells the whole fullness of the deity bodily, and you share in this fullness in him, who is the head of every principality and power. In him you were also circumcised, with a circumcision not administered by hand, by stripping off the carnal body, with the circumcision of Christ. You were buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him, through faith in the power of God, who raised him from the dead. And even when you were dead in transgressions, and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he brought you to life along with him having forgiven us all our transgressions, obliterating the bond against us with its legal claims, which was opposed to us. He also removed it from our midst, nailing it to the cross, despoiling the principalities and the powers. He made a public spectacle of them, leading them away in triumph by it. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. The Lord is compassionate towards all his works. The Lord is compassionate towards all his works. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. The Lord is compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is compassionate towards all his works. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is compassionate towards all his works. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus departed to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Simon whom he named Peter and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, 
and the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground. A great crowd, his disciples, and a large number of the people, all from Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyra in Sidon, came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and healed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. St. Paul writes to us today a very interesting line. And I think we suffer from this at times and we all need to take a look to see what St. Paul is trying to say to us. St. Paul writes, See to it that no one captivate you with an empty, subductive philosophy according to the tradition of men, according to the elemental powers of the world, and not according to Christ. And you're probably all sitting there going, yes, that makes perfect sense. Let us all follow Christ and not some empty philosophy. And I find it very interesting, too, to combine this with the gospel that Jesus picked these 12 from many different backgrounds, many different thoughts on who the Messiah was going to be. Simon the Zealot was expecting a nice warrior who was going to destroy the Roman Empire. The others were thinking, yes, you're just going to destroy the Roman Empire and we're going to be Israel, we're going to be free. Others thought the Messiah was coming to take over and to kind of replace some of the religious leaders. Who is this Messiah? Who is this Christ? Who is Jesus of Nazareth? We are supposed to listen to him. Remember, we are not to captivate ourselves with empty, seductive philosophies but with Christ alone. Who is this Jesus of Nazareth? And how does he fit into the world today? We have great freedoms here in America. It's great in being able to think freely. But I think also there might be a downfall for us Christians living in America because we read these newspapers, we watch the, the, the news, and we w- listen to podcasts. And they're all framed under the right and the left. Republican, Democrat. To be honest with you, both fall into the lines where St. Paul says, empty, seductive, philosophies. It's hard for us to hear that at times. But it is Christ who we are to follow. It is the love of neighbor, the love of our enemy, the love of our God, the love of God with all our heart, mind, and soul. To love those in need. And I also find it very interesting slash sad that people try to take those seductive philosophies of the right and the left and then try to fit them into Christ. It's hard. The philosophy of Christ is much different than though either of those. Be careful. Watch, listen. Don't be captivated with an empty, seductive philosophy according to the tradition of men, according to the world. But listen to Jesus of Nazareth. Listen 
through Christ, our Messiah. Heavenly Father, we humbly come before you to offer you our prayers and our petitions. We pray for Holy Mother Church. May she be a guiding light to the world. May she teach, may she proclaim the philosophy of Christ, may she proclaim the life of Christ, the death of Christ, the resurrection of Christ. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all public and civic leaders. May they have the heart of Christ, and may they lead with that heart in mind. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we also pray for all those who are sick, suffering, those who are lonely. May they feel the healing touch of Jesus Christ this day. We pray to the Lord. We pray for truth. May truth be proclaimed the truth of Christ. We pray to the Lord. For all those who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith, we especially pray for Michael. May they see the face of Christ in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, these are but a few of our prayers and petitions. We humbly ask them to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. It's humble spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be up to the God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, Graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation and always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
to be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace you grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul shall be. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Communion antiphon. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. 
The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.